Good morning, everybody. It is perfect out. By the way, something pretty fun to do, if you go to, go to cruisemapper.com while you're on a cruise ship, find your cruise ships, because then you can see what islands are around you. We're actually in between Perfect Day, which is Royal Caribbean's, and then Castaway, uh, Disney's other private island. We're in the middle of them. I didn't even know they were by each other. Today is my first ever sea day on a Disney cruise. I've only been on three days. This is our last day, but we have four days. It's a day at sea. So today actually is a big day because the Mickey Churro waffle waffles are up at breakfast. Day at sea, they have them. We're gonna watch the baby crawl. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna order a room service for lunch and hopefully have a good day. Anything else I'm missing? Um. Dinner, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, your mother's palette. I'm excited about that. We're just trying to have a good day. The plan today was actually to sleep in, but I actually woke up the earliest I ever did on my uh, on the cruise so far. So that is gone down the drain. Oh boy, be fully prepared when you come on a Disney cruise to leave with the cruise crud. The amount of kids coughing, we might wake up with the cruise crud. Which honestly, Alexa and I have had our fair shares of uh, things happen on the cruise ship where we might just be ready to get off. I'll get in that tell a little bit later, but we can see perfect day. I believe that's the allure of the seas. Perfect day. It's allure, it's allure. Yeah. So cool. I've never seen it from a distance. There it is. Oh, there's two ships there. Allure and the independence of the seas. But hey, we're on a Disney cruise. And a day at sea at that. So, goodbye, perfect day. Goodbye. Looks so cool. I expect the aqueduct to be fully packed today. Seems like most people are uh, electing to eat right now in the morning, which makes perfect sense since it is the Mickey Churro waffles, the best in the world. With Aladdin showing, I'm sure you guys can hear it. Can barely see it though with the screen and the sun glare. We have yet to explore this side of the ship. We haven't gone up here at all. We wanted to save it for a day at sea. It's a fun miniature golf course. It's cute, you know, Disney themed for for kiddos. The cabanas are actually underneath us. It's where we need to go next. I'm actually starving. Wow, it's a perfect sea day. We'll not try again. We'll take purple. They have wooden balls, which won't blow away so easily. No judgment, Alexa. Not bad. It's a whole one. Wow, this is solid. Great hole in one. Ball. Nice hole in one. Alexa just got a hole in one. Will she get another one? Nope. Alexa one, I'm never playing mini golf again in my entire life. Honestly, I'm so excited for lunchtime because we get to watch the baby crawl and that has been like my biggest dream on Disney ships to watch like the baby crawl. If you don't know what it is, stay tuned. It's, it's iconic and I never gonna be able to do it because I think it's only on like four to longer day cruises. Yeah. Say hello, everybody. Here they come zooming on by. Staring at this is really relaxing. Seven thirty to ten forty-five breakfast is. We uh, are coming a little bit late, but it's still packed because of. I'm not even kidding. The the Cheerio waffles. 
There it is. By the way, like every station had the Churro Mickey waffles, so don't go to the first station. Go further into the cabanas. Not a lot of people knew that. It's Alexa's first Mickey Churro waffle. Enjoy it. Well, I think we got the last of the bunch, so it's not going to be like brand spanking new. It's so good. I actually think I prefer it hard. I had the gooey one last time. This one is great because it's got a crunch to it. What would you think? I really enjoyed the churro Mickey waffles. I wish I had it every day. They are crispy, but it's good that way. Breakfast was a success. We're gonna do some trivia. Oh, we have our um, mixology today too. That's what we forgot. That's gonna be a grand, grand time. In the meantime, we're gonna be going to Toy Story trivia. We we love going to trivia, even though we kind of suck at it. <laughs> Let's see if we win this time. I'm gonna say no. It's in the tube, the adult only section. But I don't think this is an adult only activity. It's Toy Story trivia. Usually this is a Pixar trivia, but they just switched it to Toy Story. So this is relatively new, he just said. 15 out of 20. That's our best score yet. We're gonna go for a walk. We really don't know what to do until the baby crawl. We're just killing time, killing time. They're power washing at sea, but they've got this little mechanism. Never seen that. Okay, folks, we are back in the room. Now, let me tell you guys why this has been one of the most annoying slash worst cruise experiences I've actually had on board a ship. And it has nothing to do actually with the Disney fantasy. I have been having some of the worst stomach pains that I don't know what's going on. Alexa is a nurse, so she's already checked for appendicitis. I think it's just gas. It's really good today. Like I haven't had any issues, like I'm fantastic. But last night was brutal, which is why we didn't really do anything at Pirate Night, which is why um, after Frozen, there was like a big gap. During Frozen, it was a good show, but I was in the most uncomfortable situation i just had so much pain down here again i'm good today i uh, i think it's gas hopefully hopefully because the other thing that we're thinking it could be kidney stones because i actually have had kidney stones twice in the past gonna carefully monitor it but we've been we've been good we've been good alexis said gallstones too that would be horrible let's just hope it's gas um taking it easy right now and we'll see how the rest of the cruise night goes just the reality, I guess, of cruising. You never know what's going to happen. Alexa was seasick on the second day when she woke up, and this is something I've actually genuinely never experienced before, so it's got me a little bit worried just because I don't really know what's going on. Um, good thing we'll be back on the land tomorrow. I just have never wanted a cruise to end early before, but this is like a situation where I'm just like, I kind of can't wait to get off because I want to see if getting off the ship will be better. Maybe it's the movement. I don't really know. So when we were back in Florida, I'll carefully monitor it too, just like tonight. And uh, wish me luck. Still having fun, but it's been one of uh, the diff most difficult situations I've ever had on a cruise ship. With that, we uh, have the calmest day at sea. The calmest, it's like picture perfect. I did uh, buy Tums last night, it seemed to help. So last thing, hopefully it's gas. Please, please, please. I'm gonna go get some coffee. And by the way, guys, with what's happened on this cruise, we haven't been doing the no uh, no elevator challenge. We've, we've been doing elevators, so I think this is a good pass, right? It's been getting better, it's been getting better. And the reason why I bring that up, because I gotta go all the way up to like deck 10, and I don't wanna do the stairs, or it's like deck 11, I think it's deck 11. Princess is down there. Still not setting up for the baby crawl yet. It's in like 45 minutes. Snow White, Jasmine, Ariel, Tiana, Belle. Smells great too. I don't know if they're pumping in the extra scents. Come on. 
Come on, Phoenix. My next one's going to be free after this. I think I'm going to use it for my next cruise. This is probably going to be my last coffee on board, so that's nice. You guys hear that? That's the horns. I'm so excited. I've always, always wanted to see this. We're going to see it. Baby crawl is getting set up, and there's a lot of people lined up. It's gonna be an, an incredible finish. <laughs> Get it? It's incredible theme if you guys didn't know. He has a show on for his baby. You see that? Two, one, <laughs> Those babies! Come on! Go! Your favorite show's on! Yo! Yo! Wow! Oh. That baby, that was, I think, a world record. <laughs> Here we go. It's the grand finals. Raise those babies! Uh oh. 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 Oh, oh she pushed them. Oh. Oh. No, no, stop. Oh. She shoved him. She cheated. Personally, I would have disqualified them. Shove the baby. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. She literally shoved, shoved that baby. Like, Go. Go. She threw him out there. <laughs> we had to come outside because we saw on the cruise map the Disney Wish is our neighbor. There she is. They're going to the Bahamas. Yup. Bright, bright, sunshiny day. Lex and I decided to get room service after our little uh, tequila tasting, whatever we're going to. It's a, it's a mixology class. So mixology. It's like martinis, shots, other drinks. <laughs> I figure that's a, a better way to, to do that. Nice. Well, that's a 10. So we had a slight mix up. Our mixology class was supposed to be two o'clock on Sunday. So we thought it was also two o'clock today, but it's not till four. So now we have two hours <laughs> to do something. Room service. So I'm gonna, I just wanna get the wings. Okie dokie, Anna Choki. So here's a look. Anna Choki? Anna Choki at the room service. Remember to order the uh, cake of the day. It's not on here. Well, there is a couple, but there, there's one that's secret. So make sure you ask what it is. We're definitely probably gonna get wings. I'm trying to starve myself for dinner tonight, but let's look at the included room service. Some sad news. They don't do the surprise like cake anymore. That is no bueno, but it's free. All room service is included with your, your fare price. 25 to 35 minutes, not bad on a sea day, like not bad at all. 
On Royal, that's like an hour on C day. I really feel like Disney should have Disney Plus on these TVs. Instead, they ha they have a lot of movies, but I feel like Disney Plus would just be amazing. That was so quick. I think four. Hello. Hello. Good Come on morning. in. Hello. Yeah, that works over there. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. What did we get? What did we get? Chicken tenders, fries, Alexa's dessert, and then, I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, don't put it. Yeah. Pride and joy, the wings, baby. Heck to the, uh, what's right here? This is cool. Oh, it's your mustard, it actually says it, look at that. Mustard? Yeah. I asked for, no, it's probably not mustard. It's... Oh, yeah, they probably just used it to cover. I kind of want to steal it, like take that, not steal it, it's mine now. Ketchup? That's so cool. All right, move this so that you can sit on your bed, and I'll sit. Zero dollars. All right, you're going to eat like that? No, I want you to move <laughs> the table. To where? Right in between us. Okay. Alexa, of all movies, when it's watched National Treasure. All movies. Why not? These honestly look like the wings from the pub, but I like it because they're free. The ones in the pub, you have to pay. And gentlemen, if you're going to the pub, this order room service is included and bring the wings down. Otherwise, it's what was it, $8? It was $8 for the wings down there. What if the ladies want to go to the pub? Gentlemen and ladies, sorry. <laughs> and I think these are actually better than the ones downstairs. We did really good at sports trivia, guys. We're really proud. We got 12 out of 20. That's a sneaky one. It's a little sneaky one. Getting a quick tour of the rainforest here. Whoa. How much is it? So right now it's ninety nine for the cruise. Ninety nine? Oh. Ninety nine for the whole cruise day pass is thirty nine dollars per person. I did this once. It's actually really, really good. Relaxing. Quick tour of the rainforest. That was really fun. You can just go in there and get a tour. Prices, I, I think, are pretty reasonable, honestly. 99 for the whole duration of the cruise. Pretty nice. Worth 39 for the day. 39 for the day. We have our mixology. It is time. Let's go. This is what we did for reference, everybody. Right here. Mixology awaits. Oh, we get the whole corner to ourselves. Boy, there's a lot of people here already. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Alexa is really excited about this. Oh, it's gonna be good. Cheers. I'm the king of the corner. I'm actually so tired. I'm gonna show you guys all the drinks that we have. So far, we only have two poured here. I'm thinking we're gonna have like four to five, but I think four kind of is more reasonable. And then Dasani water. Drink number three. Okay. Drink number four. Looks like an old fashioned. You don't like old fashions? This is a tough for us. Yeah. All I gotta say is the room is getting way more lively than it was when we were here. I told him I didn't like this drink because I hate it one second. He just added more ice to it. <laughs> and now it's gone. <laughs> Actually, it's a difference. I just want this cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Our fifth drink has arrived. I'm thinking this is five. I think I've lost count. All of them were chuggers, by the way. Every single one of them, well, besides the tequila. Tequila, ugh. This one is so good. Like, this is the ultimate chugger. This one's a toasted almond martini. It's a chugger and a half. Mine's gone. A total of five drinks. We called for an encore. We didn't get one. <laughs> I don't need an encore. <laughs> I've actually never been out here. It's like a private deck. That's Apollo um, place setting right there. No shot. That'd be so nice to eat out here. That's Apollo in there where we dined last night. And look at this. I think you can. That's um gonna be the cabanas. And this is uh, the private deck for the bar, which anybody can come here. Do we, oh yeah. 
Well, what'd you think? Do you think it was worth 45 bucks for five drinks? Yeah, I want to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> There's some parents in there with some kiddos who are like, this is the best time we've had on the cruise. It's cool. Oh, Alexa's going to lead the way. Go, Alexa, go. Go, Alexa, go, go, go. We got, ah, oh, it just went away. <laughs> we got a tiny bird. Alexa wanted some popcorn, so we get her some popcorn. <laughs> it was really me that wanted some popcorn. Not just any popcorn, we have some fresh popcorn. Miss Popcorn coming through. Update guys, my stomach is actually doing really, really good today. So that's good news. That is good news. Different story last night. Alexa is 31 years old. And wants to make friendship bracelets. Why not? Never too old to make friendship <laughs> bracelets. And they're playing Taylor Swift. Makes sense. Wait, I need popcorn. All the beads. Who's all the Swifties? All the Swifties. Yeah. All the Swifties. Damn. If you guys can't tell, we skipped out on Believe, the last performance on stage, the last stage show. We've just been walking around, chilling, hanging out, waiting for dinner, which is at Animator's Palette. That's cool. These have been really popular. All the photo ops have been like flooded every night. Um, I wanted this watermelon coconut Ciroc thing, but... We didn't have watermelons, so we made apple. What a sunset. It's like the best one we've had. That's so much better. What? Stunning. Yeah. I mean, it was like a little sort of jeans. I went in here because I was breaking it. Did you see me talk about the light? I don't know. Maybe. Only a Surprise, surprise. We're at another trivia. But I did want to show you guys I drew Alexa. Her side profile. Look that way. And here's what I drew. Master class. <laughs> that was our best one at 34. Two people, three people got perfect. I don't know how they did Don't that. look at our handwriting. <laughs> I already showed them your handwriting. All right, here we go. Lux, we can line up right here, actually. Animator's palette time. The hack is to go by the door by the stairs and you get to go in right away. Everyone's lined up basically to the atrium. But this is where no one really goes. Well, let's go on in. Last diner hall, dining. Hello. Animator's palette. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna be trying some very different things tonight. It's nice when no one's here, you know. 36. 36. 36. No worries, no worries. <laughs> we have our table. Table for two. Looks like we'll be looking over there tonight. Sweet. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
Animator's palette. Probably like my my favorite one here. Alexa's very excited. Here's a look at the menu. I'm going to be doing a little bit different for my entree. Black truffle pasta, that is a go for uh, you guys. You should try that. Baked potato and cheddar soup, probably going to get that. When we go to the main courses, I'm I'm going to try this grilled tuna steak, and I'm also going to put a order in for the chicken breast, because I don't know if I'm going to like the tuna steak. They do have a jumbo shrimp salad, too. I'm going to get the arugula salad and try some of your truffle pasta. She's cheesing. We should, wait, get some wine. Wine? Yeah. It's the last night. Get some wine. Are you buying? Yeah. Okay, I'll get wine. <laughs> they need this every night. Garlic rosemary. Holy cow. This is unbelievable. It kind of looks like a dirty pond. Like a fish pond, doesn't it? So good, though. There's Alexa's arugula salad. Make sure you guys get this. I believe it's on like every uh, ship that honestly has um, Animator's Palette. It's super good. Actually, now that I think about it, isn't this on the Disney Wish too? All I gotta say is like our server just served us fast as heck. They work really hard down here. Shout out to the serving squad, the serving team. Like, they hustle. Everybody around us is still ordering. I know we're at a table of two. But he came here and like was like, I'll get you guys. We're like, okay. Oh, it's green. Holy cow. Rogers! Rogers! Whoa! <laughs> awesome! Come on in, dude! They said job! I might yak. Never had tuna before. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. It tastes like a steak. What? Yeah. Cake? Steak. Oh. We just got done with dinner. It's time to do a dinner talk review. Alexa, what did you think? Um, I have to say, I was a little disappointed in animator's palette i thought there was gonna be a lot more going on crush just came and like talked to a few people and it wasn't as exciting as i thought it was gonna be those the wait staff were working their butts off you could tell they were running around everywhere um trying to do a great job the food for me was just a little bit of a miss it's kind of been like a common trend for uh, dinner for us i mean i got the tuna i like tuna i just couldn't eat it all and then I like, was like, okay, I'm eating tuna. It kind of stays a little fishy. But I'm actually surprised I like tuna. But then I also got the chicken. The chicken was dry. It was just like, ah, wasn't yeah, the best. Right. Obviously went to Palo, Apollo. Yeah, <laughs> it was hard to can. come yeah. from Apollo to main dining. Yeah. It was also very, very loud in Animator's Palette. Like, so loud. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Royal Table was our favorite by far. Yeah. By far. Um, but dinner was just okay. The dessert, though. Desserts smack on this ship. The desserts are so good. So good. Love the desserts. Still thinking about the dessert from last night. Okay, well, that's... The, the chocolate that's, what? That's not main dining. What was it called? The chocolate what? Fondue? Nope. I don't freaking know. S Choufle. Souffle. Souffle. <laughs> he doesn't know how to say that. Souffle. Um, yeah. Still fun time, though, but... I really, really do feel like Disney's quality of food at Main Dining has gone down a little bit. I'd like to see it a little bit better than where it's at. That's just our experience. Um, I mean, it's mass-produced food. Oh well, yeah. It's going to be what it is, but... I just remember it being a little bit better. A little yeah. bit better. You all done packing? Almost. 
with that, everybody, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Lex and I are going to go do some more things off camera. I'm going to have a review posted tomorrow if you guys are watching the Mega Vlog. Thanks for tuning in to the Mega Vlog because this will be the last one or like the last bit of that video. We had a lot of fun. I honestly, though, this is my least favorite Disney ship. I enjoyed the magic. I enjoyed the dream. I don't know what it was about the fantasy, but I love the wish. The wish is my my cake. It was a good time overall. I just feel like I have to rank it. And, uh, you know, just the experience by in a whole, uh, maybe being, like, not feeling good had something to do with it, too. I don't know. It wasn't the company? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Do you have anything to say? Uh, we have to do one more round of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, shoot. Ready? Rock. Wait, wait. No, don't even think about it. Can't even think about it. Can't even think. Right. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Anything? Bing bong. Oh, that's it? Yeah. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.